Hello and welcome, or welcome back if you're already a subscriber or just returning of other reasons. Hannah Muller, Bristol paper for design, graphic, illustration, 20 sheet, and it's the A3 pad that I got. And um, it's time to, to test it out. Hannah Muller is a German company, and I'm unsure if this is produced in Germany, but I think so. I think that mark means that it's made in Germany. It says at the bottom that it's suitable for pencil, India ink, pen, fine liner, airbrush, and acrylic marker. Bright, smooth surface, high opacity, resistant to erasure, okay. exceptional cutting and printing properties. I'm not going to cut into it, and I'm not printing on it either. I just trust them on that. I could put it through my printer, but my printer does not have exceptional printing properties. I took one of those A3s and cut them into four A5 sizes, so it's a little more manageable. And um, I'm going to just do a doodle and throw all kinds of things at it. I've already used quite a few sheets of that. Um, and um, and I quite like it this far. Now, there's one thing I haven't tested it out much with, and that is alcohol markers. And I know whenever I do something with Bristol, people will ask me if it's good for alcohol markers. So I have brought out some of the alcohol markers I got. I got some twin touch brush uh, markers, and I only brought out these two because there was, were two colors I wanted to use. The other ones I'm going to use today is Winston Newton Pro Marker. I got quite a few Pro Markers and I really like the, the colors of these. And if you don't know, there's a bullet tip on one end and there is a chisel chip on the other. You can get some in brush versions too. I don't have any of those. I got the touch from Shinhan with brush tips in one end and chisel in the other. You can also get those with a bullet tip instead of the brush, but I don't have any of those either. I am not much of a marker person. I enjoy using them from time to time, but uh, my main medium is pretty much anything else. I um, I picked out some, mostly some blues and greens for this project. Maybe a bit too many, to be honest. Let's see what we can do. And um, I'm just going to do some doodling today and maybe some, um, <laughs> because that's what I can do when, while I talk. And I'm just going to try lots of things on here. I am, um, I'm going to start out with one of my Cobrick Multiliners because these should be okay with alcohol markers. I don't have a ton of Cobrick stuff. I got a set of these going from 0 0.05 up to some brush nips. And then I have 3, 6, 9, 10, 11 Cobrick Chows. And, um, for those who might be unfamiliar, there's a chisel tip in one end and a brush in the, the other. The only thing I don't like about Cobic is, quite frankly, the price. They're, they're quite spicy when you have to buy them. If you buy one, it's maybe not too bad. Two or three is also not too bad. But if you kind of have to have something a little more to start with, yeah, it starts to run up because they're a little on the high end. The touch is a little cheaper, not by a lot. but um, And I think that's actually what kind of hampers me in terms of alcohol markers. Is you, you need a ton and... A ton cost a lot. I like the Cobic and the Touch for one thing, and that is you can buy replacement nips and you can refill them if they run out of ink. Neither of those options is available with the Pro Marker, but the and it's Winston Newtons, by the way. Um, I think about the Pro Marker though is I. I I think I like the, the colors and uh, how they feel a little better than the others. 
I got many more. Or not many more. How many do I have? I have one, two, three, four, plus some no names, other alcohol markers. But this is not an alcohol marker type of video. It's not that. So I just picked these and I'm going to put the Cobic back for now. Um, and yeah, the paper. Yeah, it should be good for a lot of things. And I have thoroughly tested it out. And um, what I'm probably going to do is going to do this video and maybe one or two more because there's so much to try on here that it will be a super long video. So um, let's just try something. And, um, all the fine liners that I have tested on here, regardless of what uh, what type they were, if they were kind of the gel pen type, ballpoint pens, um, what are they called? They're called um, water water based ink fine liners and stuff. They all work quite well, to be honest. And, um, this one is no exception. I love Bristol paper for, for the smoothness of it. It's super smooth. There's no tooth to it really. And, um, so, um, the, uh, the, 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 every pen that you want to use and it just glides smoothly on here. So I'm just making some areas here to, to fill in with other things. I'm using a slightly thick pen for this. This is a point 0.8. Yeah, I, I've tried pencils on here too. That was also good. Not my favorite paper for pencils though. Uh, it doesn't, because it doesn't have much tooth to it. So, um, it, uh, it doesn't grip onto the pencils, but you can, you can definitely use a pencil, especially if you're using it for sketching. And, um, So if you want to sketch something out before you line it up with maybe a fine liner, you can definitely do that. So I think this is a, an okay base. We have quite a few areas to fill in. And, um, let's just do exactly that. Now, I'm not sure what to expect from Bristol and um, alcohol markers. So if you're an alcohol marker person watching this, uh, we'll just make you decide for yourself. I think it can be a bit streaky at times, but it's like it evens out when, when the ink dries.
Okay, so let's continue with some Imod pens. Another product I've got that I never reviewed that deserve their own video. The pigment pens from Uni, Mitsubishi Uni. And I picked out a number of colors. There's uh, two things I like about these the color selection and the fact that they are uh, pigment uh, pens. So um, they're somewhat a little more light fast than, um, or maybe a lot, I actually don't know, but they should be more light fast than the, the ones that is uh, dye based, which is most of the other colored fine liners, especially the fine liners where you can get a lot of colors, like the ones from Stadler and the ones from Stabilo, things like that. And as you noticed, I made a lot of areas where I didn't um, black outline it. And that's because I'm going to do it a little more soft by outlining it with the color I'm going to doodle in the areas with. Gives it somewhat more soft expression. And these colors I picked match nicely with the muted colors that I picked from the alcohol markers. Now, in this particular piece, uh, the light fastness really doesn't matter because the alcohol markers are not really light fast. There's one little thing about these, and they leave these drops at the end. It goes a way a bit when when they dry but not entirely So, <laughs> um, yeah, alcohol markers and fine liners, not a scratch on the paper. It took all the abuse. So, so far, so good. Nice paper. Um, I, um, I encountered absolutely no problem with, with these products. So the Copic liner went on. The e mod liner, fine liners went on, and the I'm just gonna take some of them. No, we can take all of them. Alcohol markers went on just fine. And, um, so yeah, Hannah Miller, thumbs up, just fine. I am um, gonna do more videos on. Um, I'm gonna edit this so that it's not super long. It took uh, just just the last lining here to what to well over an hour. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about it. So stay tuned. Take care. Bye bye.